Is there a basic law that can even be used to prove the existence of God? Where do the laws of physics and the universe come from? If we reach such a law, can we communicate with God? If you are interested in the answers to all these questions, be sure to stay with us until the end of the video and support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that you can use our other content. Almost all of us know that there are four main forces in nature called gravity, electromagnetism, weak core, and strong core. But where do these forces come from? Is there a more fundamental force that they all come from? In order to answer these questions, let's first take a general look at the history of the development of science in order to get a better understanding of the answers to these questions. Of course, I promise not to take up much of your time with historical explanations. 2,000 years ago, a scientist and philosopher named Aristotle who lived in Greece took the first step in progress. He stated in his theory that the world is based on four basic elements. Maybe you think this theory is very basic and simple, but this was the biggest step in the progress of science. After that, there were many scientists who worked hard in this way, but a scientist named Kepler was able to analyze the movement of the planets around the sun in 1618 and formulate it mathematically. And he was given the title of the father of astronomy because he was able to make great progress in astronomy and bring us closer to the equation of everything. But unfortunately, when Kepler lived, Europe was drowned in ignorance and superstitions. At that time, he said according to a theory that extraterrestrial civilizations may exist in other planets like the Earth. But because people at that time believed that the Earth was in the center was the world, and the whole universe revolves around it. Unfortunately, they sentenced him to death, and first they sewed up his mouth and then burned him alive. But science was not something that could be prevented by superstition and ignorance. And after Kepler, a scientist named Galileo was able to make an important and revolutionary invention in science. The telescope was a great invention, because everyone could see that all the words of their rulers were based on lies. But unfortunately, their power was greater, and Galileo took back all his words to save his life. Then, on the day Galileo died, a legendary scientist named Isaac Newton was born. Newton showed his intelligence since he was a child, and when he was a student, everyone realized his intelligence. He always thought deeply about the environment around him and the events that happened. One of the events that occupied his mind this was why the force that causes the apple to fall from the tree to the ground does not do the same with the moon, and this caused Newton to discover the first natural force, gravity, and formulate it. So far, I have explained to you how man came to discover a natural force from a simple idea. And in the same way, the electromagnetic and nuclear forces were also discovered. In 1905, Einstein was able to discover the nuclear force with a formula called the equivalence of mass and energy, and he thought that all these forces must be derived from a more fundamental force should arise, and he thought about this until the end of his life to find a solution for the theory of everything. But unfortunately, he did not succeed. At that time, scientists thought that the four main forces of nature had been discovered and the science of physics is nearing its end. Until in 1920, a scientist named Schrodinger was able to create a revolution in physics by presenting a theory called quantum mechanics. Since the time of Democritus, people and scientists knew that matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. And over time, they found that this atom itself is made of smaller particles called electrons, protons, and neutrons. Newton's and Einstein's laws worked perfectly correctly in normal sizes, but when you want to check the behavior of a small particle like an electron, Almost all of Newton's laws break down and no longer work properly. My intention of explaining quantum science was that you get to know a little bit about this science so that I can help you understand the equation of God. Scientists who were looking for God's equation felt that they were several steps closer to discovering it with the existence of quantum science. Because the more you look at any event or thing, the more basic and detailed you can have a better understanding of it. Let me give you a simple example. Suppose we look at a candy factory from a distance. When we look at it from a distance, it is just a simple factory that makes candies. But when we go inside the factory, we see a series of advanced machines in the factory. Now, it's making a toy. And if we look closer, we can see that the device is made of components that work. And the smaller we get, the more information we have about it. Physics and the laws of the world are exactly the same. The more basic and detailed our view becomes, the more information we have. Now let's go to the core of the matter. Now that quantum science has been discovered, is it possible to prove God's equation with it? I have to say no because there are still particles smaller than electrons called quarks. These particles are so small that even light cannot reach them for us to see them. But by presenting the string theory, 
Scientists have partially revealed the secrets of these complex and small particles, and they speculate that no more particles of quarks can be found smaller, and most likely with enough information about it, we can arrive at the equation of God, or the theory of everything. With this equation, we can uncover the secrets of the world, and understand what is going on inside the black hole, or more interestingly, understand that our world, how did it come from the Big Bang, or what was the world like before the Big Bang? Now, in your opinion, it is possible that man can play the role of God by achieving this equation and create a new world and play the role of God in that world. If you are interested in how far humans can progress, I suggest you watch the video above right. Thank you for being with us until the end of the video. Please like the video to support us and subscribe to this channel to benefit from other channel content.